San Diego State with the overtime loss against Boise State. Man, that was crushing. Uh, look, I know San Diego State, they already weren't an eligible anymore to go win the Mountain West. And I get that they've had a tremendous year at home. Like, one loss, and their only loss at home was this very tough game against Boise State. But on senior night, could be Lamont Butler's final game, probably final game at home as an Aztec. Um, others, obviously, as well. Like, you want to finish strong with a win. And San Diego State definitely could have. I mean, it was a slow start offensively. But we knew, like, right out of the gate, it was going to be a tough physical game. I mean, if you were watching at the beginning there, well, first off, I thought that we weren't even going to be able to see the beginning of the game because they were showing, like, some racing event that was happening. But thankfully, we were able to see the beginning of the game there on FS1. <laughs> Um, but at the beginning, yeah, I mean, credit to Boise State. They were not afraid to go right at Jane Ledee defensively and draw a foul there. And Jane Ledee ended up him fouling out there late in overtime. Now, if we fast forward to the end of regulation there, remember, I, I was scared for a minute because I thought Jane Ledee was going to foul out. But it ended up being on the former St. John's player, um, Omar Stanley. He ends up getting the foul. But on the replay, I did see Ledee kind of, you know, throw Stanley off of him. But there was hooking there. So you could have made the case for both. Thankfully, Ledee stayed in. Uh, because if he didn't, then maybe that game wouldn't have even have gone into overtime. Uh, but San Diego State, I mean, I think they will say post game here. Like, they should have won that game. They had opportunities to win that game. Uh, Micah Parrish could be better from beyond the arc this Aztec team just in general this season could be better from beyond the arc um I mean Darion Trammell what a shot that he made there to tie it up uh that that didn't even look like the best shot but hey it went in um in overtime there when this this was like I, I understand like it's a I think a tie game at that point right very last moments of overtime and you have three Aztecs I believe Ladi was one of them yeah because he fouled out there all jump up they're trying to keep the game tied obviously and I get it that's re your initial reaction that's just reactionary I get it but when three guys are going to jump up on one Boise State player like as soon as I saw that like you know a foul's coming if they miss the shot, there's going to be contact. When three guys jump at once all around a player, there's going to be some contact there. So that sucked, seeing the ending like that. But, I mean, Boise, they win by two. And the Aztecs, even with the poor three-point shooting just this season or, you know, in some spots today, um, they they probably still should have won the game because Max Clark turned into Clay, to in into uh, Caitlin Clark for a second there. I mean Boise almost loses the ball, get it back, a pass to Clark, uh, and he sees that okay the shot clock's about to go off, so he just heaves it up from almost half court half court and drills it for three, and obviously that's the difference there. San, if you take away those three points, San Diego State. You know, would win by, win by what one there? Now, may not have turned out that way if that you know if the sequence of events, if that shot wouldn't have gone in. But I mean, some things you just have to shake your head. And when that shot went in, I'm like, my reaction was like it was an audible reaction. I'll tell you that. Uh, just some things, it's like, man, really, that was going against the Aztecs tonight. Uh, I, I thought maybe some Aztecs fans didn't like the ref, some of the 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 refereeing going on in this game, but I thought it was just a physical game, and Ladine knows what was going to come. Boise State was physical. Um, that's the night that we knew it was going to be from pretty much right from the get-go once we saw Boise State not being afraid to go attack Jay and Ladine. So I wasn't really pissed off at the refs. I just think that San Diego State needs to be shooting better. Um, and when Lindy is going to get attacked like that, you have to have your other guys come up big. And they did in moments. Like, I'm not going to dismiss some of the moments Lamont came up and Parrish had a big three and Tramiel obviously had a big three. But 
it could be better overall for sure. Um, now, this loss, Mountain West-wise, right, if New Mexico wins, I believe San Diego State would have to go into the play-in in the Mountain West Conference tournament. And obviously, NCAA tournament, that's the thing that matters the most here. You want to win your conference tournament, but San Diego State's already in the tournament. They're good. So this could end up being, um, uh, I don't know how much of it, like, it's not going to be quantifiable probably, but San Diego State could be playing more well they will be playing more games if they make it to the conference tournament final they're going to be playing what four games in four days something like that back to back to back to back so that's not ideal you know i was watching some of the women's uh games from today and like for example I iowa right they win their game against penn state today and that's an advantage for them over teams that had to play uh, like I think Maryland beat Ohio State in the women's Big Ten. They have to play like four consecutive days in a row, I, I believe, where Iowa does not. And so that's that's obviously an advantage there. And so San Diego State doesn't seem like they're going to have that advantage. Or If New Mexico loses this weekend, then I think they would just sneak in in that last spot. I think it's top five in the conference that get the, the bye. So we'll see. But this could be costly um, in terms of like legs and you know fitness for san diego state um come tournament time but we'll see there, there's going to be a little bit of time off in between the mountain west tournament and the ncaa tournament uh, but it's going to be interesting to see how that all develops this next week in vegas but yeah a, a a very entertaining game no doubt about that the physicality how it was close pretty much the entire game obviously going into overtime the max clark shot i mean I get it. It wasn't a San Diego State player, but even that was like, man, that's that's a shot you're going to remember. Obviously, San Diego State, unfortunately, being on the wrong side of things, though.